Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. So I know it has been an absolute minute since I have filmed any videos or any vlogs or anything like that and I'm so sorry but life has been so busy with the launch of SLA. So as you can see by the title of this video, this is a making of SLA, kind of a little bit of a behind the scenes of the journey that I have been on with SLA. I started filming this back in November I think it was last year so I've got a lot of different footage I've kind of just put it all together hopefully you guys find it interesting just to kind of see how I got from A to B it's been a long journey it has been a massive learning curve it hasn't been easy but I'm so proud of myself and I'm glad that I've gotten to the position that I'm in today with it so I'm not going to say too much more I don't want to stand here and bore you guys so I'm going to let you guys watch this so you can see a little bit more of behind the scenes of SLA and also the process of making it so today is a very different video and it's weird vlog and also filming this bit of it right now feels really weird because we are, what are we? I'm just going to work out the date today. The date today is the 21st of November um, and I'm starting this vlog now because... SLA the label is something that has been a massive passion of mine for... I don't even know how long I've wanted to have my own clothing label and create something that is just mine and my vision and just let all my creativity come out into like one thing that's literally like my baby. Um, I have been planning this for pretty much like the entire of 2018 um, and it looks like 2019 is when it's going to launch so this is weird because this is actually going to go up probably before or as it launches. But the reason I'm starting this vlog today is because my first ever box of samples has arrived. Um, so that's an exciting thing. So I'm going to try them on and thought I should vlog the process because it's so different and it's exciting and I'm okay my vlogging camera just completely plagued me and ran out of battery while I was doing that um plus it was cold so I thought I'd go put a jumper on so I thought that I would vlog for starting from now because this is literally it kind of like coming together or starting to come together should we say so I will open the box of samples in a bit but I just wanted to show you guys um just some of the stuff that's been like in my brain and okay basically like so Anyone who designs clothes probably these days uses like Photoshop or some sort of online computer system. Now, my technology skills are very minimal. I can't, I just can't do anything like that. And it stresses me out when I'm like trying to like get something out and I can't do it because of technology. But one thing I can do semi well is draw. Um, and I used to love, like, when I was at fashion college in London, like, I used to love when we used to, like, design our own, like, little, like, fake ranges for, like, projects and things like that, and drawing it and, like, thing, all that was, was one of my favourite things to do. So, um, I just want to show you guys this. So, currently we have just my drawings of the things that I want to have in SLA when it first launches. Um, so this is gonna, this is currently being sampled over in China at the moment. Um, and I just wanted like a really big kind of boxy oversized suit. Um, so as you can see it's literally like, it's quite funny because it's just drawings that I've done. Then we've got my casual stuff, which, um, oh, swim. Um, casual stuff, which I'm super excited about, and that's actually what's in this box. Um, so it's kind of simple, obviously, just jogger sets and um, crop jumpers. Um, but I personally wanted to just do something where the fit was really good. So for me, the fit of these is like everything. So I, that's what we're working on at the moment. It's just getting like the perfect fit material, like the best thickness the best colours, all that kind of stuff. And then here I've just drawn out some ideas I have for swim. Um, I'm kind of, it's a bit all up in the air at the moment. So that's just a little bit of a, like, insight into SLA from the very beginning because like this, all this hasn't been made yet apart from some of the stuff I've got in the box. Um, so I I just really wanted to show the kind of the work and the effort that is going into SLA and that it's not just something you know, that I've just decided overnight and I've just thought I'm just going to go buy wholesale stuff and sell like this. I really want it to be as original as it can be. That's my hope for the brand and the vision I have for it going forward. Um, the whole idea behind the label is basically my my fashion sense, which is I'm either really dressed up or really casual and then that's always been me and that's just the way I dress and there is no there's very rarely been an in-between so I wanted to create a label that really um, represented everything about me and that seemed like the perfect idea so 
you basically get your casual casual stuff so your jogger sets for traveling and like little t-shirts and things like that and then there'll be a complete other side when you're going out, out with your friends or you want something for an event and that's kind of what I wanted to create the brand and then there's just swim thrown in in the middle because who doesn't love a new bikini okay so in this box I'm thinking on the top so we've got um, four of the little t-shirts with slogans on that I have um, had sampled up. I'm so excited to get them out and see the quality of them. This one which I absolutely love, which is just a bit of fun, says food baby. Um, because why not? And then this pink one, do no harm, take no shit. And I love that it's on like a baby pink. And then in here are the samples of some of my jogger sets. Um, so we've got thinner and thicker quality, I think they've sent through. I have literally just had, like, a little excited moment by myself because it's always a gamble when you find, um, supplies in China because, like, it's uh, so completely foreign to me. I didn't have a clue what I was doing, literally not a clue. Um, and, yeah, so I found this one and I'm actually, like, overwhelmed with the quality of these. It's, they're just... I'm so happy right now because my big thing is that I want this brand to be of like really high quality and I'm so excited. Okay, so aside from the fact that it could do with a bit of steam, the fit is so nice. It's got a really nice drawstring around the waist and like the waistband is like, a re oh, just honestly. And the material, I can't even begin to tell you, it's so soft. And then this is the kind of red colour one that I've done. I, it's kind of like a, it's red, but it's more of like a burnt red. I don't even know if this colour is not really showing up the exact colour on this camera, but. It is the 5th of April today, and I wanted to do another SLA update. So I was so annoyed because I actually filmed, about two months ago, I filmed some vlog footage for this vlog. By then accidentally deleted off my hard drive, just completely just not even realizing, which I was really annoyed about. It wasn't anything overly important. It was just the logos that I got sent over from the lady that was designing my logo. So that was really exciting. So I'm just gonna show you guys that now. And I'll basically just explain what I had in that vlog footage. So obviously, as you guys have seen in this vlog, the first box of samples arrived. And as much as I love the quality of them, I decided that I wanted to change them a little bit. So I kind of had a bit of a redesign and sent off some new things to China to get those kind of like visions and ideas made. So that was all going on. Then there was Chinese New Year, which was fun. So they literally just stopped working for like a month. So I knew it was coming though, so it wasn't a surprise because obviously, you know, what we're doing other ranges and stuff I'm aware of, you know, Chinese New Year. So yeah, so that would kind of slowed things down a little bit. Um, but no, so then they came back to work and started to produce my samples and I can officially announce that they have arrived today. Cutting it very, very fine though, because I'm actually going to LA on the 7th of April, so on Sunday, to shoot SLA for the first three days that I'm in LA. Now this is really weird because I'm not gonna put, I basically I'm going to LA and I'm just not putting anything on my Instagram stories about what I'm doing out there for three days. Which is gonna be really weird because I really, I'm so desperate to share this all with you guys. I can't even begin to tell you how desperate I am. But yeah, so I'm, that's why I'm vlogging because I wanted to just vlog everything anyway so I can share this kind of journey with you all. So no, so the box of samples has arrived, which is this one right here behind my popcorn and spaghetti. And yeah, so I'm hoping, fingers crossed that they're all good. They should be because these are kind of like the second samples. So hopefully they're kind of like perfect now. We've got all the colors right. So yeah, it's feeling very real now. I'm not gonna lie, I think because I've got the samples, it's like actually making me feel like, wow, it's happening and we're going to shoot it. So as you guys have seen already in this vlog, I designed so much stuff that I wanted to kind of like send over to have made, which I am going to get those kind of dressy bits done, but I really wanted to start off with, I wanna start off small because I think, you know, there's no point in going too crazy too quickly with a new business. And my absolute favorite things to wear and live in are like comfortable clothes, jogger sets, you know, little t-shirts, things that are just really easy to dress up. You can just wear with jeans or, you know, just chuck on your pair of joggers and just style it up with a little crop top. Like that's my go-to. So that is exactly what I wanted SLA to be all about was just my go-to style. So the first collection that's gonna launch and the one that we're shooting in LA is the jogger sets and the little crop t-shirt. And then I'm currently in the process of getting swim made. So I've designed the swim and it's currently being made for the samples. So that will hopefully launch about June, I'm thinking. 
So yeah, so this will launch in May and then yeah, really early June. So quite soon after the first launch, I'm going to launch Swim, which I'm so, so excited for. So I'm not sure where we're going to shoot that yet, but I'll give you guys, I'll show you some of my drawings. Although the drawings have changed again to what's actually being made in China, but you guys can see kind of like the design process so that when you see the final samples, you can kind of see where it's come from. So just to show you guys, these are some of the original drawings I had for some of the Swim. Um, I'm doing some sort of like, I really just wanted some like two-tone coloured swimmers. So I've kind of elaborated from this, and we've kind of gone down a similar path, but a little bit different. Um, and then kind of ignore these. I'm not sure if I'm going to make these ones just yet. And then I'm going to make, um, I really want these kind of matching shorts that go with everything. Obviously, these ones don't match. But I love wearing these kind of like runner shorts when I'm on holiday. But I wanted to kind of create like a three-piece vibe for the swimwear. So you wear it and it matches your bikini. So I've just unpacked some of the samples here. Very, very exciting. I'm not going to show you too much of these because, that's what I'm going to show you in LA because that's obviously what I'm doing. I'm taking them to LA and I'm going to shoot them. But I am just going to show you one of my t-shirts because this is kind of like an example of like a bit of the design process. Um, anyway, so this was the original one. And as you can see, compared to that, the font is so much bigger. So when I put this on, because it's elasticated, it's stretched and is like massive over your boob area and it just like fitted really weirdly. So all of the t-shirts have had the font... Um, decrease slightly so that it fits better and then I've also added the SLA logo to the bottom of them because it's quite important for branding just because you know what fast fashion is like these days like people will probably you know copy them which I understand it was going to happen it's fast fashion you can't stop it from happening but I kind of wanted to brand my one so that people knew if they were wearing like an SLA one because I feel like that's important honestly it's just such a weird feeling right now I feel I actually feel like I want to cry because they still kind of begin to tell you how long I've wanted to do something like this and this like vision that I have in my head of this brand and then seeing these samples in front of me, it just feels so weird, but like a good weird. Like I'm, I just feel really proud of myself for like taking this leap and just doing it on my own. And you know, cause doing something like this on your own is so just like daunting and you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I had no idea. And so it slowly but surely is coming together and I cannot wait to shoot this. I'm so excited to like get the content and launch the Instagram page and just everything. I just, I can't wait for. Um, but no, what I was gonna say was, I know I mentioned about the logo, so I'm gonna show you guys my logo and all the different versions that the lady sent over to me, because I'm really excited to buy my logo, and then you guys can get a bit of a feel for the brand, even though by the time this vlog goes live, SLA will have launched anyway, so you will have all seen it, but hey, we'll just put it in. I'll just show you on here. So this is the official logo, this one here. It's printed on the back of the joggers and anywhere that kind of I felt it needed to be branded. So that is the SLA. And then you've got SLA the label, which is obviously the main brand, and we've gone for this kind of like light grey, kind of pale grey colour, just to add a bit of colour so it wasn't all just black and white, but I'll just flick through these. So that's it against the grey background, you've got the black and white version of it, got the white one, I mean there's honestly so many different variations, but as you can see you get the vibe. But no, so I'm really proud of the logo, really, really excited, it's very kind of like sleek and chic, it's not like too fussy, just kind of straight to the point, very clean, and that's exactly what I wanted. So, I'm officially in LA, and I'm here. With Rebecca Spencer Hi. Photography. Sorry. We are in the most insane house in um, West Hollywood, I suppose we'll say. And we're going to start shooting SLA the label. It's very weird. We're literally just debating like how strange this actually is. It's just bizarre to have the samples in my hand and be like on a shoot location but with like, my clothing samples. Like it's just the weirdest feeling. Like, so yeah, it's my so, boss for the day. Yeah, you know, proper boss vibes here. <laughs> boss lady. Um, but no, so we're just kind of deliberating where we want to shoot the things and where the best vibes and all this kind of things going to be. But I'll just give you guys a proper little kind of like view of the t-shirts especially now and then I'll film each outfit as I've got it on. And look how cute it looks. So here we've got the t-shirts all laid out. <gasps> <laughs> this is bizarre. We got the tracky sets over here. Got my accessories. Got literally all of the trainers in the world in that suitcase. It's gonna be a good day. So this is the white set. I'm basically was just wanting to create airport tire. That was the whole vibe for SLA. So I've gone for my staple joggers, but I've also gone for this little kind of like skin tight kind of crop top. So it zips up like this, and then you can wear the little sports bra underneath it. It's got a collar on it, but I just thought it was kind of cute because it's different from just like your like standard oversized hoodie. So this is the white version, but then you can also just like wear it without with the sports bras. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but no, so, and the material of these are just amazing. Why do you say so myself? Oh my god, I look so rough, but I'm actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big moment, I think I'm gonna cry. No, we're really just like, we just got it though, haven't we? I mean, oh. we're just living our most extra lives out here. Like, so proud right so now. I sat outside this house thinking like, this is, this is everything. And it's the vision. vision. The brand I it's the vision. It's mental because it's like, I feel like it's been so long in the planning. And yeah. now I'm actually seeing it on a camera. Yeah. And it's real. It's pretty epic, this feeling. I'm proud of you, girl. Proud of God! Because <laughs> I didn't show you this in the white, but it's got SLA up the back of the leg, you know? So Just nice. branding you all up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I'm obsessed with the black one. But we're going to I was put on my Converse, and I was like, I really want to love Converse, but I'm still not sure if they suit me. Becky and I have decided that we're just going to rock. I like them. Yeah. They're sick, yeah. <laughs> So this is my do no harm take no shit tea, which I put on baby pink because I thought having a baby pink t-shirt with swear words on is kind of like, what's the word? Um, Contradictive? Yeah, no, that's that yeah, yeah. the word I want? Yeah. No, it's like really cutesy but then it says take no shit on it. This is the blue colour. I'm actually obsessed with this colour. I feel like it's kind of like a Yeezy blue. So it's like a nice, and I was saying that the um, top and the crop top are sort of like a different, slightly different tone, but it works really well. I'm also just chilling by our pool area. <laughs> oh, it's not there we go, there we go. Sewing so nice. It's like a powdery blue, vintagey blue. Yeah, it's really nice. So I'm currently wearing the Aeroplane Mode t-shirt from SLA the label. It's, honestly, this is just the weirdest day ever. I feel like I keep saying it, but I feel like I, I feel like it's much like Christmas or something for me. It's the most excited I've been in so long. But no, I'm absolutely obsessed with this t-shirt serious airport attire this one and then i'm wearing the nude kind of like really nice nude colored joggers from the range i don't know what you love more reunited fruit loops or sla i have no idea what is on the middle in the center of my head can you see that no. that's annoying anyway i'm wearing my i probably won't wear this again as it's already on my instagram t-shirt and i have my bowl of fruit loops this has got to be one of our favorite shoes yet because it's just it's mine and becky's like cross, vision all so we well. just get to do whatever we want to we do what we want <laughs> Look at my hair. How vibey is this house, by the way, guys? Look We're at the lounge. We're moving in. The kitchen, the stairs. Oh, it's developing. I don't ever want to leave. Becky's doing Polaroids. It's all going on. It's developing. <laughs> Shots, is that yeah. what we're gonna call them? So we're all packing ourselves into a lift. We look like we're in a padded cell actually. I'm here with the dream team. We don't know what to expect. We don't know where we're going. We're going up to level oh. nine. No, we're going down currently. Why are we going down? It's probably someone selected it. It's alright. Going up to level nine to see what this is all about. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out. Oh my god, it's really cute. Perfect little studio for exactly what we need it for. This is a really cool view of LA. So I found this studio on a website called Peer Space, which in LA is kind of like an Airbnb, but for shoot locations. It was the same website that I found the house that we shot in yesterday. And I, cause I wanted basically someone to come and shoot SLA that was just for kind of e-commerce, but I didn't want to just do the standard shooting against like a white wall or like a white backdrop, cause that's just not really me. So I saw this space and I was like, the light's insane. The backdrop obviously is skyline of LA. I was like, it's gonna be really cool. So we're just gonna do some like sort of simple, basic kind of like product shots, but in a very Becky and Sarah way. So sort of slightly sappier. I can help you out. I can help you out. I can help you out. random little studio shoot. We nailed it. Now we're going to Lemonade, 
which is another Instagram spot that I found before. I did a lot of research. I wrote a list. It was all going on. So going to the lemonade place now is apparently super Instagram. That's why I've got on my Just Here For The Free Drinks t-shirt. And then we're going to a donut shop. We really are doing it for the gram out here. So I know I look like a sweaty mess. It's kind of a regular occurrence in my vlogs, I feel, because I'm always just looking like this. So yesterday was the announcement day on Instagram. So it was, when was it? So it was Monday the 27th of May, and that was when I announced it on the gram. I, did, I actually didn't expect to feel as nervous as I did last night when I was announcing SLA. Like, I just got like this, I had the worst butterflies. I think it's just because it was the it was obviously the first time that I was putting the brand out there to see for, for people to see, and that's just a scary thought because you just I don't know I just you always think of the worst scenarios in your head. I was like, what happens if everyone's gonna hate it or they're gonna be like I don't know. But anyway, so now it's just other stressful things. I'm glad that that's done. So that's over. But now I am trying to decide what is the best way to get the bulk order over to England. I originally had it to come um, in two days, but I don't need it to come that quickly because I pushed the launch day back, but the shipping costs are so much more expensive if I want it to be in two days. But if I do it by the air shipping thing, it's cutting it so fine to the launch day and I just don't know if it's worth risking it. This is all stuff that I'm gonna be learning along the way. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more of situations like this. Um, it's just, again, it's time management that was slightly off. Um, but it's fine. Hopefully this will be the last time it happens and all the other launches I will be ready to go. But yeah, it's just a bit of a like learning curve, should we say. So now, yeah, it's all about like shipping the stuff, which way's best and oh, all this stuff that's in like when you, now I'm running a business, I'm gonna have to get used to learning about this kind of stuff. So yeah, so that is the update. So yeah, launching on the 9th of June um, and it's just, I guess now, my biggest panic is like the stock quantities because I've ordered what I think should be enough, but the response has been so amazing, which is obviously what you want. But my biggest fear is I just don't want everything, and this, and I don't mean this to sound like big headed or anything, I'm just going over everything in my head. I'm like, I just don't want everything to sell out so fast and then people feel like they just didn't get a chance to get anything. Which obviously is why I want, I do want that, but I also don't want people to feel like they haven't had a chance to shop it. But I know that I can, I'm gonna, obviously as soon as anything um, sells out, I'm gonna restock everything, don't worry, it's all gonna be restocked. Um, but yeah, it's just hard, because I just have no idea really of like the demand that's gonna be for the brand, it's quite hard to know that kind of thing. So it is the 30th of May today, and I have another little SLA, the label update, my swimmer samples have arrived as always leaving it till literally the last minute because i go to bali tomorrow and that is where i'm going to be shooting them and i have been stressing my head off that this box would not arrive but it has which is amazing because i was literally like oh my god if i've already cut this so fine with the swim but I'm so excited about it and I really wanted to take it to Bali with me because Bali is my favorite place. So I really, really wanted to have it to shoot there. But it has arrived. So now is the really scary moment of all, like whenever the boxes arrive is opening them up and trying them on and hoping that everything has come out exactly as your vision. So yes, Friends is on in the background. I'm probably on a God knows how many times I've watched this. It's the one where Rachel's giving birth. So this is so exciting. There's lots of colors of things in here. So I'm gonna get it out. And um, yeah, we're gonna see what is the vibe. Okay, I'm super excited. So in here we have new colorways of the tracksuit sets. So we've got an orangey red color, insane. Um, this kind of gray marl one. And then we have a bubble gum pink over here. So these will be launching. I'm probably gonna do a relaunch. Um, as I say, once everything has sold out, I'm gonna bring it all back and then we're gonna stock these three new colorways of the jogger sets, which is very exciting. So I've got these sort of like two-tone bikinis that I have designed up in my head. So here I would have loved to have shown you guys us shooting the swimwear in Bali. I think I underestimated just how busy we were gonna be on the Komodo trip that I was on. And I thought we'd have time. Now we did have time, we did actually shoot a little bit of it, but it was done in such a rush. It was done, it was honestly, it was so hot. It was done in like an hour. We were just like running around this villa trying to get some social content in the swimwear. So there was just no chance of me getting a vlogging camera and doing that at the same time. But as you guys know, because when this vlog goes up, 
everything's live anyway, so you will have been, you will have all seen the swimwear and everything else. But yeah, so that's why there was no Bali swim footage in this vlog. So today is an exciting day. It is the 27th, I think, of June. No, 28th of June. It's Friday, and I am doing a little bit of like a content shoot for the new swimwear and a few little bits for SLA. Um, we've got a beautiful model called Cara, um, who I'm really excited to meet. Becky shot with her before, and I think she's gonna be perfect for this. I'm very excited. I'm also loving the fact that I'm going to something and I know I don't have to model it for once. It's actually a really nice feeling because I don't actually enjoy like getting changed in and out of clothing and all that kind of stuff. Like models who do that on the regular, like, literally, they are amazing because it's just like shoot days take it out of you. So it's quite nice to know that I'm going along to this as more of obviously just like the brand owner rather than the model. Um, and I'm just excited to be able to kind of like get my creativity for the brand across, but like using someone else. It's, I, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. It's the first like SLA shoot, I guess, that's not with me. So it's a first proper brand shoot. We're actually just doing something really chill. We're shooting at Becky's house. Becky's house has got a very cool kind of aesthetic. We're going for a very sort of candid Tumblr, very Instagram photo focused day. Loads of props. Um, I'm excited though, and I'll show you guys in this a bit more of the swimwear, and obviously Cara wearing it and all this kind of stuff. Very excited. So um, yeah, I've got to go because otherwise I'm going to be very late. So here we are, Becky's humble abode. Yes. It's very messy right now. I know. Well, no, it's because I've come in and just unpacked everything. So we've got lots of props going on over here. Obviously, we toast. Yeah, come with all of yeah, the got a Vogue magazine, newspaper, can of Coke, all of the glasses, of course. We've got some disposable cameras. Where's the Polaroid? It's all going on here. Swimwear's going on here. And then I've got some of my jogger sets and t shirts and whatnot. Also, got the three new colours grey, orange, and pink. Amazing. So guys, this is Cara, and she is looking insane in the yellow bikini. We're all having very major body goals envy over like, here. I know, <laughs> look at this, look. But she's making this swimmer look insane, so this this excites me beyond belief. Are we excited for today, guys? Yeah. It's oh, gonna be good. Oh, 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 <laughs> I love that you're now wearing the like bougiest top with joggers. I can't <laughs> What? We have literally forced Cara to come out in the middle of the streets of London in a bikini. You know, gotta get those product shots. This wall is cool though. How have you just got a plain white wall by your house? Absolutely. This is amazing. We're now in the kitchen, doing the most. Cara's in the green internet princess t-shirt and the green bikini. I'm also just discussing uh, Becky's salt and pepper shakers. This is uh, an interesting one. They're great. Mm-hmm. Conversation starter. <laughs> regarding SLA so far on my little journey. I will keep you guys updated with more as, it, as and when it happens. Just wanna end this by saying a massive thank you to absolutely everyone who has supported the launch and the products and just my vision behind the brand. It does mean a lot because obviously when you do something like this, it is quite scary. Um, it's gonna take sort of like time to really get used to it, trying to balance my life around SLA. It's been difficult. Um, I feel like my kind of like influencer life has taken a little bit of a back seat, but I think it needs to happen because this is what I wanna focus on. This is my passion and something that I'm, I really believe in and I'm really excited about. So yes, that is basically SLA as it stands today. Um, keep your eyes peeled on my social channels and also SLA, we've got loads planned for the future. We've got a very exciting launch in October. The stuff is getting sampled currently and I'm obsessed with it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like I love this stuff already, but this is just even better. 
so anyway, so I'm really, really excited. Um, but yeah, I think I might film a QA and a um, regarding sort of like business and setting things up. If that's something you guys want to see, then please let me know below and I can look at filming that for you. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I promise I will be back with another video. I'm going to try and be regular on YouTube, but it's really hard at the moment with my current life. But I'm going to give it my best shot. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.